Hello everyone, and welcome to our ninth episode of the Stalker Gamma Invictus run. So let's do a quick recap. Last episode, we started out in Rostock after bringing some stuff from the Clear Sky base. We dropped in by Crux Cemetery, did a couple of missions there and got some stashes. Then we came back, we went through wild territory, murdered some mercenaries, then went to Yantar. We did the Miracle Machine, which uh, was pretty nice. It wasn't the best run. It wasn't the worst run. Um, it was kind of cool. We got some Snork Hands. We need about four more to get hip. Um, then we come back, came back through Wild Territory, had another run-in with the Mercenaries, got some loot off of them. And we're back to Rostock. Although the last episode sh sounds short because we only went to a few places, it was actually one of the longest we had. Miracle Machine took a little bit of time. We didn't kill the pseudo giant in the sewers because we had no explosives. But we did advance our main mission a little bit. This episode, I'm gonna do another little run through Crux Cemetery because we have a few mutant killing missions over there. And it's always a fun place to be. I don't know if you guys like it, but I quite enjoy going through Crux Cemetery. It's always uh, fun to see what fresh hell awaits you in there. You know, you get chimeras, you get pseudo giants. It's just awesome. And then... I'm actually thinking we're gonna do a little run through army warehouses. We did get um, enough ammo for us, our sniper rifle that I think we could take the actual uh, freedom base there. Because we have a lot of stashes in there. And then we'll see what we do. Um, we could actually try and do the gatekeeper mission. To open up the path to the radar, kill some monolith. But uh, we'll see what we get out of these stashes here. And uh, then, uh, I'm not sure, with the Miracle Machine disabled, the whole world is open to us. So I might even make a run through Red Forest and try and get to uh, Jupiter. Maybe do the meeting with Beard. Um, we we will see these northern areas are a bit uh harder uh i'm not really afraid of the mutants there but the stalkers uh enemy stalkers could be pretty nasty we might meet some uh sin we'll definitely meet sin and monolith in the red forest we might meet meet some unisg or unisig i'll call them for short but Let's see what happens. Now, right before I started recording, we did have an emission. I did get a stone flower artifact right here in the base in Rostock. As for what we did, we I did manage to scrounge between episodes, scrounge enough stuff to get um heavy armor kit. So we fixed our hybrid armored suit which is amazing, it has a really good BR class and ballistic resistance, and it has pretty okay resistances all around. And we also fixed our AK-105 Specialist. I don't have an attachment for it yet, so I would like to get the Silencer and uh, um, a Scope, but as you can see, we are currently very, very broke. So we're going to hunt down some stalkers and uh, try and get some, uh, some loot in. I'll actually drop my Hercules here. I'll just keep one because it's, it's pretty heavy. Okay, as always, let's check our task board first and see what we can do. Do we have fracture hands? I'm sorry, I will... Uh, we have exactly three fractured hands. I will check this uh, in the recording just because uh, I haven't done it in a little while. No, I don't think we have a controlled brain tissue. Definitely not that. So 
are these guys really want some advanced stuff well i'm guessing that's it i'm not going back to agriprom so let's head on to this guy give him the mission and then go to truck cemetery okay here we are truck cemetery let's see what's the closest mission we have it's right there so let's just jump into it i will try and keep our detector out just because as i said we did have a, an, an emission just a few minutes ago so we might actually find a lot of artifacts around Our guys are set to, to attack, so... Don't really like being right in the open here. Especially when I don't know exactly what type of mutants there are. It sounds like dogs. So I'm just gonna... Try and stay up on the trucks so they, they, they can catch me. Oh! Oh no, never, never mind. I thought that that looked like a dog for a moment. Oh, never mind. It's not mutants. I actually had to take something off a duty stalker. scared for nothing there. <laughs> but I do still hear dogs in the distance, so... We should be ready for them. Oh no. That is a pseudo giant. No, 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 no. Actually, you know what? Yeah, sure. Go get him. This guy will eat so much ammo. I don't really want to get close to him. Yeah, we're definitely gonna lose a friend here. Come on, follow me. Ah, he's, he's gonna be on our friends here. He's definitely wounded. These guys have so much range on them. <clears throat> oh, don't run. Come back. There he is. pseudo giant eyes but we lost both of our companions it have some good gear on him this was actually the shotgun i gave him uh oh well What you gonna do? This this is what you get when you're fighting pseudo giants. Even 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 when you have end game companions, 
like even with power armor is still gonna get wrecked by pseudo giants most of the time. Taking a bit of rad rads here. Okay, well, this definitely makes Crux Cemetery much more interesting when you don't have anyone around with you. I hear some zombies down there in the distance. Mm. All right, let's see. Oh, I hear. There it is somewhere. I hate these things. Oh, oh, this is a rough start to our run. Or oh, to our episode. Oh, there's another one. And he's angry, and he's coming this way, and... Uh, I don't think he can get me up here. Okay, that's one set of mutants that we dealt with. Next up, that way. Oh! We also have a green stash here. I don't know where when we got that one. I hear dogs again that way, but I'm not sure where they are. Let's take some anti-rad med. Okay, and... I don't hear anything in that direction. To the right is probably a burner anomaly, and uh... Oh, okay, I think that's just another mission to take something off a dead stalker. Okay, not gonna say no to some free loot. Oh, and the Saiga nerd. I'll just uh, take that. Don't really care about the Lebedev. Only problem with the detector pro prototype is that it weighs a lot. Okay, finally, we got some mutants over there. And I'm gonna jump on the edge of the... No, come on. You can do it. There we go. Um, there's definitely zombies that way. And I'm just looking around uh, for mostly for chimeras because those things... Okay. 
Okay, well, the zombie noise is stopped, so that means they're close enough to... Yep. Let's just use our actual pistol here. This side of uh, Croc Cemetery is always kind of scary because there's all kinds of stuff running around here. Once you pass this fence, it's uh, fractures, cats, all kind of weird, weird things. I haven't heard any cat noises, so that's reassuring, but uh, there are mutants that don't make any noise, which... Huh, KS-33, and uh, some more tools. Barrel 5. Um, yeah, I don't really need any of these. Let's head back to Rostock, and... Um, let's see if we can find another couple of stalkers to come with us. Okay. Oh crap, I can hear him right behind me. Come on. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Last time when we were here, we got completely jumped by a chimera. So I'm gonna be really careful. I'll look around a lot. If it's a single chimera, we should be able to deal with it. Although I don't really hear anything. I think we should be safe. Yep, looks like we're good. As always, we'll keep an eye out for artifacts. I'll even go through these uh, areas a little bit, see if we can find anything. So it looks like there will be nothing here. Which kind of sucks. But that's that's okay. Let's let's just get out of the Croc Cemetery. I would have really liked to see some lurkers. I, I would really love to get a good lurker hide. 
um because they they give a lot of carry weight they have amazing resistances anyway okay i just walked in and we actually just instantly found another team that's willing to join us we have a professional guy with uh, what looks like a pp19 and an experienced guy with an arm salt so that's gonna be nice but we'll just run around a bit we'll turn out our we'll turn up our missions and then we're gonna go to That window's hard. We're gonna go through army warehouses right after. Okay, so I did a quick run through the base. We got a couple of friends. Uh, we actually got a stash here in Rostock out of submissions. And I managed to fix the Saiga Nerd. We already had one, but it had a broken barrel. But uh, with this new one, it had an okay barrel out of the green stash, so um, I managed to fix it up. So we also have a better shotgun now. Okay, <clears throat> stash was so and so. Uh, I also, and you're probably gonna be pissed at this, but I sold about 25 pieces. 25 gauss batteries to get a bit more money to get some ammo because that run through the truck cemetery kind of left us without buckshot so we're gonna do a little refill i think this should be enough i'm gonna sell the slugs okay and i'll also grab some fmj perfect Mm. God, these scopes are so bad. Can you put anything else in there? Not really. Uh, I mean, maybe a tulip would be nice later on. Oh well, that's that. Oh, let's go to army warehouses. Okay, here we are, army warehouses. Got my weapons set up. Let's take a quick look at the map, see where we have friendlies and we, where we have enemies. Oh, there's already some enemies down in that direction. I would like to clear this camp up here. I can, can already hear cats. So, let's see. I hear them over there somewhere. I also hear someone shooting in the distance. Or the... Uh, where the actual army warehouse is. Okay, our friend there actually uh, seems to have engaged with the cat. Although we don't see it. Come on. Let's try this. A boar? Really? Oh god. Well, our guy is actually being murdered by a boar. 
Okay, well, let's see if we can loot them. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's a lot of nice things. I don't want to get into this anomaly because I don't want to advance time right now. Here's the cat. They did say they we were fighting boars, but I don't see anything. Just one dead cat. Oh well. Let's just move on. Um, oh, Jerry can. Nope. Not gonna take that. It's a bit too heavy to carry right now. But we did get some shotgun AP slugs. Gonna throw a quick look over here as well. you never know what you'll find. Okay. And uh, now I'll just switch up the weapons. Oh, wrong weapons. There we go. Much better. I'll disassemble whatever we have just so we aren't overweight when we need to be low on it. The hell are our guys going? Okay, and let's go and deal with these guys. That's a weird place to assault, so... Hmm. Gonna try and go to that little... Um, what's that? A canopy, I think. Is that the word? On the hill? I hear lurkers. Ooh, I really want the lurker hide. There's one. It's me and the Okay, meet, I, and uh, did I see a guy here? I thought I saw a guy here for a second. That was so weird. Oh no, it was just these uh, boxes. Oh, no hides. I, I miss the stupid uh, broken lurker drop rates <laughs> that we had before this patch. Okay, so the enemies are going to be somewhere around there. And I have no idea... This rock could be good to engage from. I really need the adaptive uh, boom for this sniper rifle because it's so... It's so stupidly zoomed in. I oh, can't see anything from here, so I guess we'll have to... Oh! Was that it? That couldn't have been it. It's just one freedom guy? Ooh, a G36K. Uh, do we have one at home? We might. Uh, rads, 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 rads. A lot of rads. Um, and I'm out of cigarettes. Damn it. Don't want to drink this vodka. You know what? I'll just take a anti-rad med. And drink some water and hope it goes away. Or we'll just take a beer. Okay, that should be good. 
should keep us for a while. Let's go after these two stashes, but I will go down the road. Huh, did someone spot me? <laughs> I'll go down the road and... Uh, I'd rather not engage the whole freedom base, even if I see someone up there. Okay. So, there might be a guy here. The campfire is lit. But it, it appears we're clear here. Um... In. So, there might be some more duty guys in that, uh, I mean freedom guys in that base there. Just go nice and easy. I think we're clear. Oh, these as well. And I hear someone's fighting zombies over there. Okay, and there should be another, another stash somewhere. Well, that sounds close. Um, probably gatekeeper fighting something. Mercenary LC, don't care about that. Topaz, now that's a nice pickup. Okay. Let's just head back to the road. Yeah, I don't want to engage that just yet. All of the north, and... Oh, he has a freedom guy with him. That's going to be annoying. Um, I'm going to give the topaz suit to our... guy here. And this. And these... That's because I, I don't want to be over encumbered while we fight. Take that as well. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. If I sound a little anxious, it's because I am. Normally, I wouldn't think twice about uh, going out and murdering some freedom guys, but... Oh crap, I missed. Mm. Well, I didn't miss this time. Oh, there's one in the tower. And a pseudo dog. Okay, any other freedom guys coming around? Just ignore combat for now. I'm, I'm missing a lot of shots just because I'm a bit anxious. That one didn't miss. Where the hell? I think it's behind us. Oh, never mind. He's there somewhere. Is he in the tower? No. Ah! 
Well, that solved the problem. I'll, I'll not even risk trying to get that. Sorry about that. Had to take a short break because my uh, cats were doing some uh, fun stuff in the room and uh, I had to stop the noisiness. <laughs> okay. Um, how much ammo do we still have? Uh, we should be good. Let's reload this as well. I'm just going to use straight up uh, FMJ for this. And uh, if we get to this car, I hope it's not irradiated. Interesting. Don't care about this. You know, I'll even disassemble these two just because uh, uh, I like having a nice reserve of... Uh, Stuff. Okay. Gotta be near. Bad. Sig. We have any others around? It's kind of annoying that there's fog today. Could have picked a better day to raid freedom. MP5. Always nice to have. We'll even disassemble this. Okay, so let's try I mean, I guess a lot of them will be out and about at this time of day. Got a vodka. It's actually a nice spot to snipe. Um, I'm gonna get that guy's loot, and then uh, I'm gonna try and get up to the tower. Ooh, an M4A1, that's nice. Okay, anyone I can get from here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, there's one. There was one. Okay, now I do hope that aggro's a lot more of them. One. Actually considering climbing the tower. Okay, that's, that's going to bring a lot of them up. Okay, ignore combat. Come back, come back, come back. Oh, don't you just love it when they don't know how to follow orders? Where are they shooting from? Okay, yeah. I'll just go back and... Uh, come on. Just trying to pull my guys out so they don't get bopped. And of course they got bopped. I'll just go kill. I'll 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 find other stalkers.
Oh boy. Oh, damn it. Oh, boy. That's a big boy there. Got him. Gotta switch to AP. Probably behind the wall. There's another one to the left. Sorry if I didn't talk much during this, it's just uh I needed to, to pay attention. Oh Where the hell's the Ah Oh Lukash I'm guessing those were Lukash's guards. Oh, bad timing. Okay, I'm gonna need some quick healing. I do have a fentanyl here. Too bad one of our guys died. Um, I'm guessing something changed because they, they used to run back as soon as I told them to ignore combat, but this time they just stood there. Okay, I think I can push in a little bit. Oh! Down there, but he's too close to Got him. Oh boy. That was a fun fight. We're gonna have to clear this base once every few days. Um. Oh, ah, I hear another one. Oh! In Flint. Never liked you. Okay, uh, let's do our looting. Solid basically didn't have anything on him. Oh, I do remember he had a gun, but... Yes. Okay. Um... I'll take this. I don't know. Uh, I don't really like to use it, but I may give it to a companion. Uh, AK-5C with a full barrel. I'll disassemble it just because I want a good barrel. And, uh... Ooh, match tactical. I'll take that. I wonder where our guy died. There he is. Luckily, it was the, the one that wasn't as, um, geared. Okay, that one's down below at the crane. We do have one up here. We're gonna be careful because I, I don't want to get bopped while climbing this tower. Huh. 
Huh. Nine millimeter steer. Um. I'll take this one. I did hear something. Uh, there's a reason I will take this one. It's got a lot of... Um, it's got NATO pieces on it. Which means... Uh, and it's a 9mm. Unless they fixed it. Uh, yes. It can still be repaired with a uh, handgun kit. So I could actually fix all these NATO parts with a handgun kit. Which is uh, much less expensive than a rifle kit. And just swap them around to different, uh, better weapons. Ooh. And an echo detector. Okay, let's give some of our stuff to our guy here. Um, I'll disassemble this. Give him the battery. Uh, oh, I actually had to turn that in for a mission. Well, we'll do it later. Uh, I'll just need to drop off anything that's uh, too heavy. And yeah, I know I'm carrying some weapons, but that's that. Uh, I can't give them to my companion, because he'll use them while they're broken. And uh, that just annoys me. Okay, and I can give him the 5.56 five, ammo. After this raid here, we should have enough 5.56 five, ammo to last us for a pretty good time. Thalus. Nice. And we should also have enough good 5.56 uh, five, weapon parts. Remington 700. I think we have one at home. Ooh, a sphere helmet. We have a heavy armor kit. We'll definitely fix that. Uh, don't care about the Mosenberg. I would love to see a Sphere 12. This, uh... Nope. Actually, can I take stuff off of it? No, I can't. Yeah, just drop it. Right. Um... Uh, you know what? I'm not sure if that's better than the G36. I'll just take it and we'll uh, we'll see. Uh, that's definitely not better than what I had. AK-101. Don't care about that. We did get some cigarettes, which is nice. And... Uh, other kills are uh, down below, so I'll get to those when I get to them. Uh, let's still be really careful when moving around here, just because um, there might still be some freedom, which... Yep. That could actually be the mechanic just running around like an idiot. Yep. Uh, seriously? Oh, he, he had a, a, an exosuit. Of course. Let's just go loot him. Ooh, meds. Always like meds. Never say no to meds. Oh, and of course he had absolutely nothing good on him. I didn't waste a lot of ammo. I think a uh, hundred of the of the five five six. As for uh, the SV ninety eight ammo, we're actually doing good. Um, I think we picked some up from the guys we killed. Where is... is this stash above? 
Or was it in the room here? No, I think it's above. And I don't remember how to get there. Oh, that's, that's a burner in there. Alright, let's see. Um... Oh, okay, from the tower. Uh, yep. And can I reach it? Yes, I can from here. There we go. Mercenary LCF. Don't really care about that. Okay. Um, let's actually just... Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what happens when you get overconfident. Luckily, it, it didn't uh, manage to burn me. But the electric anomalies are weird. Sometimes they, they just murder you and sometimes they don't really trigger damage. Always like some repair kits and some 556. Uh, repair upgrade kits. Okay, and... Um, don't remember where that stash is, but we'll get it anyway. This one? Huh. Yeah, mostly useless crap. And upstairs, I'm not even gonna check. There's usually nothing good there. I will... Uh, what I saw, thought I saw something in the tower. I will check around here, though, because there's usually pretty nice stuff lying around. There's uh, either parts or... Um, uh, medicine. If this one fails, I might actually start with a freedom run next time. Um, no, just chill out, enjoy some reefers. <laughs> Get killed by chimeras in the first five minutes. Ooh, 556 five, AP, that's nice. I could have aimed better, but I... Uh, I got scared. <laughs> um, okay. Also check around here, there could be some freedom waiting around. I think that guy might have been a uh, respawn. They do that sometimes and it's uh, the worst thing ever. It, it happened to me in the middle of the monolith base. I just cleared it completely and suddenly there were... Uh, the, all three towers just instantly re respawned. Um, it was not fun getting out of that one. This was in, in my practice run, of course. Okay, so there was another one that died uh, over here. There he is. Actually, that armor, no, it sucks, but I will disassemble it. And I do need to fix my multi-tool. That uh, knife doesn't need fixing just yet. Okay, we come back through... Okay... That way. 
Ah, you know what? If we're going this way, we might as well... Uh, we might as well try and get the stashes over here. <laughs> uh, I think there's one in the tunnel or above it. But it's it's always a, a weird to reach, reach that one, I think. I did have one stash over there that I just never could reach. Uh, right, and... Oh, meds. That's nice. Is it up here, or is it actually in the tunnel? Oh, yeah, it's in the tunnel. Okay, well, let's... Uh... Oh, come on. I know I can make that jump. Right, so let's watch out for plants. Because they sting. And, uh, oh, I'm actually a bit overweight. And I'm actually a bit, uh, taking a little bit of rad damage here. Okay, where is this thing? Of course, I can't jump up. Oh, there, it's the pipe over there. But I got no idea how to reach it. Okay, you, I need you to take some of the stuff. Oh, he's full. Okay. Hercules time. Come on. Like there's invisible walls over here. Oh, come on. Right there! <laughs> Just out of reach. Yeah, you know what? I, I give up. I don't know. If any of you guys knows how to get this stash, just uh, leave it in the comments. I I give up. <laughs> okay, got a few more stashes over there. Apparently, the freedom guy that was with uh, that was with the gatekeeper, uh, I think, died. So we could go over there. Oh crap. Probably a patrol that came home. Oh, wow. Uh, 
And the Desert Eagle. <laughs> I'll take that. Even though I don't like it as much as the match. The USP. Um, it's still a good weapon. And uh, ah, whatever. We'll add it to, to the collection. Radar anomaly over there. Uh, do I fix this right now? Uh, it, it can wait. Also heard some rifle fire coming from over there. Oh, it's um, uh, where did I put the Saiga? There are dogs there. I'd rather not leave them behind me. I really need a better site for this. Oh, that's that's the radar anomaly. Okay, um, there is actually a stash here. Yeah, as I said before, every time this drops, I don't like the Chimera Hunter. Oh, that was actually the target. Okay, we'll definitely not do the barrier mission right now, simply because I don't have room. Another hybrid armored set. I'll disassemble this. Okay. Um. And someone actually killed the bandits over there. I would also like to get this stash, so we're gonna go kill some mercs as well. swap over to the rifle and we don't really need big AP bullets so Okay, those are nerds. That means it's not mutants that killed them. It was probably bandits here first and uh, the nerds got to them. Um, there's always some good stuff over there. I also saw a gas balloon which could... Uh, Oh yeah, bandits. Nothing important, we'll just loot them. Not even bandits, just one bandit. I'll take the gas balloon as well, it's gonna be very heavy. But I think we'll be able to take it. And it will uh, really help us... Uh... Another bandit. And... Uh... 61%, we could actually fix this. Good for rads, good for cam, uh, ah, never mind that. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, so we could also deal with the mercs over there. Yeah, that, that gas balloon is uh, a bit over the top. Ooh, another stash. It's in the garbage, so not really that interesting. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to uh, go slowly around here. Not necessarily because uh, we're scared, but uh, we're very overweight. And there's a mark. There was a mark. That's a lot of them there. Reloading. And my Hercules went out. Which, uh, oh boy, it's bad. It's a good thing I was already in cover. Okay, where are they? I really don't want to get flanked by these guys. Grenade? That was, uh, scary. Okay, where are they? Okay, and I'm pretty sure there's one more somewhere. Oh, we're not done yet. How many shots to the face can you take? I'm pretty sure that was all of them. Disassemble that. Ooh, a step eagle. I'll, I'll take that one. Um, uh, actually, you know what? Fuck it. No. Uh, I'll take some straight up big anti rad meds. And I might have to abandon the, the gas balloon. Oh! I'll take the big one. Thank you. With the good barrel. <laughs> okay. I'll disassemble these as well. And you know what? I'm I'm dropping the gas balloon. We'll find another one somewhere. Okay, again, I'll disassemble these. We we can repair our multi-tool. It's no biggie. Okay. Um USB match with a good barrel. We already have one. bad oh crap too encumbered so let's see what will i not need um disassemble some of these things you can actually do a slow walk all the way home um Uh, yeah, and all these. Actually, batch disassemble. Here we go. Um, don't really want these until later on. Or these. And I could just drop the... Um,
disassemble this actually. Okay, um I'll just keep it there. Uh, okay, I can move, so I'll just do a slow walk all the way down to our base back home. And uh, we still have five minutes-ish on the Hercules, so we should be good unless we meet some other mutants. Okay, here we are, back at base. So I actually ran in, um, turned in a lot of missions. We had like four or five, because I took some more missions to uh, turn in animal parts, well, mutant parts. Uh, also, the moment we ran in, we found uh, another friend to replace the one we lost. He's experienced, and it looks like he has uh, an AK. Yep, with a laser sight, a red dot sight. Still pretty nice. This guy, uh, that looks like a G46. So, um, no shotguns, which actually I find better in companions. Um, okay, I also took a nap until the next day. We also had a Psy Storm just now. And uh, the best of all, we repaired our Sphere 08 helmet. Uh, this should last me until we find uh, uh, Sphere 12, which is much better. Um, I also upgraded it a bit, though I still need to get some more upgrades, especially the red one. Uh, we also found scopes for our AK-105 specialist and, and the silencer. And for our Saiga, which will be long-term weapons, so uh, I don't expect to, to swap the Saiga for something else until I find either a mercenary Saiga or maybe a Raptor. So I think the scope was a good investment, and uh, the same for the AK-105. Uh, they weren't expensive, 15,000 uh, rubles total. Uh, we also did a few upgrades to our weapons. And... Uh, so we just had the Psy Storm and now we have an emission. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, yeah, we built a few more boxes for our um, base. I also ended up uh, fixing... Oh, that's loud. I also ended up fixing the match tactical and the L85A2 tactical, which uh, I think will come in handy. I'll even drop the... I need to have it in my inventory. I'll even drop the attachments on it, because uh, we may use it at some point. Yep. It's, it's a pretty nice weapon. And uh, it has a laser sight, which is always nice. Uh, so this will probably be our main uh, 556 weapon. And we do have a lot of 556 ammo after that raid on the Freedom Base. Um, but I'll still keep the G46. Now I'm kind of sad we didn't take the K with us because uh, what we have in our stash is the G46C, which is not as awesome. But anyway, it's all right. Uh, we still have to repair a few things around here, especially this uh, suit to do some uh, artifact missions. And we also got a multi-fuel stove, uh, I already cooked some uh, pork chops and some pseudo-dog chops, which I will keep in reserve uh, for when we actually need them, so I'll still take some, some uh, normal food with me. And uh, for next episode, uh, 
I do have a... We're gonna wait for the emission to pass. And then I'll do a little... A little... Uh, briefing for the next episode. Okay, finally. The emission passed. It took a while. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the meantime, I picked a few missions, so ignore those. They're just uh, some uh, mutant parts to turn in. Right, so... Oh, and we actually got a stash in the tower. I'll just tell you on the way. So, for the next episode, I'm thinking uh, we could do... We could start off with going back to army warehouses and uh, doing the mission... Um, to protect the barrier from monolith. This one. Actually, you know what? Let's just take this apart. And uh, we'll see how that goes. And afterwards... Um, I think this is on top. Afterwards, I think we could go and take, uh, take out lab uh, X18, is it? The one in Dark Valley. Because we do have a duty mission to recover documents from there. Uh, not duty uh, military. Is it? Yes, X-18. So we could go all the way there. I will probably avoid the bandit base just because I just don't want to deal with it. It's annoying. Um, but I do think we got what it takes in terms of gear to deal with uh, okay so it's on top to deal with uh, lab x18 if i remember right it's gonna be poltergeists a lot of snorks and um, maybe where is this stash actually and maybe a pseudo giant was it the one with the pseudo giant um Either way, we should be able to take care of it. Where the hell is the stash? Is it even higher? Um. Well, you'll have to watch me hunt for this stash, I guess. Under the tree? In the tree? Under here? Oh, under here. An overcoat. In it was a medium armor. This would have been good some time ago but we are already pretty good with armor all right so until then uh between episodes i might actually um uh, take another trip through wild territory and to yantar to turn in these mission missions because we do have a uh prototype detector which is five kilos it weighs us down a lot and uh, I might also do a little trip to garbage just to turn in uh, all the, just to do all the random missions around here. Um, I will still um, record it, so if anything really uh, interesting and worth putting in a video happens, I will drop it uh, in the next video. And um, I might also go through truck cemetery again. Uh, but we'll we'll see what happens. This is basically just so uh, I I get some some money put aside so uh, we can we can uh, get some better stuff. Ow, plant! Didn't see that one. And uh, I I don't really want to bore you with just uh, running around in basic farming. So I'll, I'll probably leave it out. But uh, until then, if you enjoy the content, content please uh, throw a subscribe in there. Maybe a like.
магазин! Меняю магазин! Oh, I heard lurkers. Let's take the high ground and see where they are. And there's snorks on the other side. Fractures were there. Pretty sure I saw one. Oh, never mind. It's a lurker. Oh, please don't be in the anomaly. Right. Okay, let's get up here and see if the snorks decide to come over. Seems like we're safe, but I do oh, Damn it. Not easy seeing these things in the in the rain. Going on top of a hill is... Oh, it looks like a snork fighting a lurker. And... Oh no 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 no. If I stay on the edge here, he won't be able to get me. Okay, we got another no not blah 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 blah. We got another snork hand. <laughs> uh and we'll actually have to heal up again. Such an awkward place to fight. Like, I, I went up the hill and they were just there. Um, I could have probably, probably approached it a bit better, but uh, it is what it is.